What's happening, man? You got one of those cool voices, too. Like, when you get on the mic, it's real distinctive, man. Yeah, yeah, we here. We here. All right, so let's talk about it, man. You know, everybody wants to talk to you about the album. I don't know. Do you say the album when you get on the radio? Or we just say that album. Well, like, what do we say? Whatever way you want to go with it, man. You can say what you feel, you know. I've been having a lot of issues with the title, with the record company, and the parent company of the record company. You know, there's a lot of uh, confusion when it comes to how to deal with that word in general, man. So... It's all about how you want to play it, man. Who knows what the title is going to read on the album, you know. Some of the score, stores are even scared to carry it, you know. But that's cool. That's why I wanted to spark the conversation up between the people about it, you know. All right, so let's talk about why did you name the album what is named. I felt like uh, life was good, everything was good, and everything is good, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. But every time you, 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 you feel like everything is too good, you know what I mean, you... You know, it, it, it wakes you up. Something wakes you up and you get reminded of the ugliness out here, man. So that was the original name of the Hip Hop Is Dead album. Mm -hmm. But at that time, the, the record label was definitely scared. Of, or I won't say scared, just wasn't ready for that. And uh, so we went with the Hip Hop Is Dead joint. And right now is the best time for it because, uh, I mean, we're going through a lot, man. Especially back home in the town, New York, man, with just the recent things that happened with... The guy Sean Bell killed by the police and a lot of things happened at the top. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was acquitted, cops got away, you know how the story goes. So, you know, this is just a time when, you know, I'm just making some noise. All right, so, but don't you feel like with the title of the album, it perpetuates the use of the word? Like, for instance, not by, because I know what, I've read the interviews of her, right, but right, like, let's, right. let's go ahead and put it out there. Like, you go to the internet, I work at a radio station. It's going to be some kid's excuse to call the radio station like, hey, can I hear that one song? I want to be a nigger. Like, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality of it. It's going to be a joke to them. And don't you think it kind of perpetuates and does the opposite effect of what you're trying to do? Nah, I think it's good when they call up and say that. It's, it, it, it uncovers the fakeness. It call, they call up there and they say the word or they don't say the word. They don't know how to say the word. And it makes us have to deal with it, whether they're calling up the DJs, the radio programmers. It touches you in a way where it's not just, hey, we call up there and hear that new pop record now it's got. It's like you are affected by it. You, 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 the customer is affected. The listener is affected. It makes you ask me these questions. It makes you ask that caller that question. It makes the caller ask himself, what is this? Why, am mm -hmm. I, why do I want to hear this? Why do I want to hear this whole record? What has Nas got to say? And what do I feel about what he has to say? Because even yesterday, somebody, uh, we do the show called The Takeover. You pick any three songs you want to hear. Somebody calls up and be like, yo, can I want to hear the, can I do a second song to take? I want to hear the Nas. I want to be a ninja too. Like, it was like one of those weird moments when he was on the phone with me. And he was like, how do I ask for this song? I got to be honest, man. When I was doing it, I didn't, I didn't really think about it that far. I didn't really think that I would do anything on this record that would get radio. You mm -hmm. know, when you think back to N.W.A., uh, a lot of their records, it was nothing that could make radio, and it, it didn't matter because it hit the people, and the people understood all the records, whether it was F the Police, Straight out of Compton, and then they later on found a way to, to, to clean it up and get it out there because the demand for it was so huge. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, I didn't really uh, focus on radio records and, and stuff like that, but um, the reality of it is records are going to make radio. I need radio to get involved so people can hear it and know that it's coming, concentrating on the music and then get to that later. All right, I'm going to ask you one more question because I know you got to run. You got a lot of, I'm going to talk to you about a lot more than just the album, but this first break I wanted to yeah. be without because it's a big topic. So um, in the record that we just spoke of, um, the one single, do you feel like, do you worry about the backlash of offending other people? Because you went beyond. Like, I know what you were trying to do, you know, don't you want to be too? But then you, you went Jews, whites, um, Spanish people. You use uh, derogatory slurs for them as well in the song. Right. Do, do you wonder if people aren't going to understand creatively what you're trying to accomplish when you did it? Um, not, not, not when I did it. It was just about getting it done, and, and it was about the word. The title of the album is already, it comes, the history of the word is, a, uh, is an ugly history, you know what I mean? But we somehow managed to change it, transform it into a culture, whether people like it or not, into a culture that has made billions of dollars in different kind of uh, uh, industries, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. the whole street culture and using that word and music and fashion, that whole style, that culture that comes with that word, we turn to something else. But it was just kind of also saying the word uh, derogatory names for each other is all stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, any derogatory name for any ethnic, ethnic uh, group is stupid. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, we have no reason to still be hung up on ethnic 
I mean, on, on derogatory words. So let's throw it out there and turn it into a bunch of bull. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't really mean anything. You know what I mean? I'm focusing on the N-word because that's my thing, but it goes beyond that. It's like, you know, I'm pulling all people into this mess. We've been allowed to say the N-word in all our lyrics, and every rap album is the, the N album. Mm -hmm. it, it just Every rap album <laughs> says the N-word in it at least 70 times. You know what I'm saying? So, it applies to 70 times in the song. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So if we can say that word, we can it, say... It really is. Yo, it's I, I believe you. It's 81. I, 80, wow. 81. Big up to plies, man. Or not. Uh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but the bottom line is we got to get over the stupidity, man. So I'm, I'm mixing all the dumb words up together and just... At the end of the day, they mean nothing, man. All right, so look, we're going we're gonna to make the tone a little bit lighter. But first and foremost, you got to know, you can still get your tickets at the door at the Showbox Soto. And I got word that that's the old premiere, right? And that's the, with, oh, So it's the old premiere. So don't go to the Showbox. Go to the old premiere. It's called the Showbox Soto. Nice performing tonight. But we're going we're gonna to light up the tone a little bit. So let's do it. Two and one. It's coming.